That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here doing a trailer review on the second Ant-Man trailer at last. It comes out in July and we've like only got a certain amount of footage. We're like, what's going on? And then of course that first trailer came out a bit serious for a lot of people. A lot of people were complaining on how serious it was. I mean, it still looked good. Like I was like, okay, I'm, I'm down. I'm totally down for this. You know, I'm gonna remain optimistic. I'm sure the next trailer will have some of that humor, more action, and sure enough, it did. Again, you get the story about Michael Douglas, who, while his company's being taken over by, um, I can't remember the dude's name, but, uh, you, you know, guy eventually, you know, ends up being Yellow Jacket. Talking about suits that will shrink a soldier and just basically become invincible. Of course, get that in the wrong hands, what happens, you're going to abuse it, and, you know, you know the same old stuff. So, of course, we see Paul Rudd, Scott Lang again, and, uh, he basically gets the suit, and this time, you get a more, you get more of what his power is, what Ant-Man's power is. Not only can he shrink and still have superpowers, but he can control ants, and you see that when he's sitting in the car and you see a little penny and the little ants fling the penny, and I was like, that's kind of cool. And then he's in the sewer or wherever the hell he is, and he's just running with the ants, and you're going, okay, this is what it's all about. And what I love about this trailer, and like what I said before, is that it specifies that he still has superhuman strength, even though he's like really tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny, and he's running on a gun and he just slaps his dude in the face, man. I mean, that was a cool scene where he's just running on the gun and then the guy's like, what the? Then you finally see the one dude, I forgot his name, but he gets in the yellow jack jacket costume. We already saw a picture of it. He looks awesome. So then, of course, you see a little bit of epic battleness between them. They're really small and they're just he's shooting lasers at him and they're just fighting in the air. And But it, the real kicker is the very end. The end had everybody laughing, at least everybody I talked about. It's freaking epic because you got like, you could see that they shrunk into a kid's room. They're f on top of a train, and it sounds like a legit train, like they're on there, and then the train is speeding at Yellow Jacket. You see it's Thomas, the, the little engine, the Thomas, the train, whatever. And you see it hit him, and then it just kind of zooms to normal reality. You just see it go... Pff, pff, pff. <laughs> that part got me. That part got me. Somebody put it in a loop on an Instagram and a Vine, and I just was watching and showing people. Like, That's freaking hilarious right there. So there you go. You got humor in it. Even there's a little humorous part, too, where he's like, show, show me how to punch, and she punches him right in the face. The way he like reacts to it, Paul Rudd, great. Fantastic acting right there, because the way he stumbles back is just, that's what makes it really work. So I'm even more excited about it, man. This trailer was great. This trailer had everything that I wanted. I wanted more humor, more action, and it delivered all that. It does have very much like an Iron Man 1 kind of quality to it, except for the whole, you know, not rich guy. But just because you have like the suits, bigger suit, and they're fighting at them. I'm sure it's gonna be an epic battle at the end. It's, it's got some parallels, but it's not like that formula doesn't work. It does work. So overall, I'm even more excited about Ant-Man after this trailer. Can't wait to see a little more maybe stuff, but you know, the way that they're showing so much Avengers footage, it's like we're almost seeing the movie and I'm worried that we're seeing a little too much, so maybe they'll not do it with this one so much. But let me know if you've seen it down below in the balls here and what you thought about the Ant-Man trailer too and if you haven't seen it I'll post it as well it'll be down there so let me know what you think about all that and also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribe to my other channel too it is down there and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos guys well alrighty then I'm Dave the film junkie and this has been a trailer review of the Ant-Man trailer number two even though where I watched it, it said trailer number one whatever it's fine it was should have been trailer number one now. Yeah, but there's, yeah, Marvel and their humor. I mean, that, that <laughs> I'm like, yes, I want to see like that crazy, like, honey, I shrunk the kids vibe to it sometimes because, you know, let's face it back. Really good stuff. Anyways, all right. Talk to you later.